what's going on deep dive spear crew We've got brock here we're here in uh, beautiful lake eufaula you can see what swims in swims around here i don't know if you can see him right there this lake is loaded with alligators i grew up here been around them my whole life you just got to be careful um grew up swimming with them riding jet skis and uh, skiing and stuff like that never had any issues with them they opened alligator season about 20 years ago that you can draw tags i've applied one time but never really just had the urge to kill one uh <clears throat> going on an adventure today we're going crappy fishing crappy fishing cycle a speckle perch whatever you want to call them going with my personal uh, favorite guide my dad he's been guided on this lake for a crappy and bass for over 40 years so i expect to get in them say hey papa hello here we go Beautiful day to be out on the lake. About my favorite time. Of course, in July, it's the only time to be on the lake. After about 9:30 or 10, all the uh, summer boaters show up, and also it just gets too hot. Some of you youngsters don't remember, but uh, when I was little, there was no such thing as a GPS or anything like that. You had an old hummingbird sonar, and you had to get out on the lake and line up a certain particular valley in between the trees and maybe an island and a point over here. You had to triangulate that. Triangulate it, try to figure out where your fishing spot was and use the old sonar to look for your channels where the uh, yeah, creek dropped off and stuff like that. Nowadays, you just pull up and you can... There's your structure right there. See it? And you got a few fish hanging around right here. These little dots. It's crappy. <laughs> All right, let's get them. Well, I'm over four right now do about five casts and have four bites and hadn't hung one yet just out of practice I'm talking about folks right there slab daddy in the box
So we are using a little bit different type knot instead of using a clinch knot or a you need something that cinches down directly to the eye of the jig using a loop knot so that it uh, gives a little bit more lively presentation so the jig has a little bit more natural movement so another Chattahoochee river slab Catfish, I can feel him thumping. Thump, thump, tail. Good lord. Uh, I ain't turned him yet. Whoa. I can get a look at him. At least. We don't have a net. Catfish. Uh, here comes big flatheads. This thing, we ain't got flatheads in here. <laughs> this is a flathead. Is it? Yes. Look at it. Oh, it is. Holy crap. I didn't know we had flatheads in here. That's the biggest one I ever seen. Oh, he broke off. I've never seen a flathead in this lake. That was a flathead catfish. They're not supposed to be in this river system. <laughs> but I guess they are. That's the biggest one I ever saw. First yellow cat, first flathead catfish my dad has ever seen. He's been fishing this river his whole life. That was probably about a 10 pounder. You saw it on video, it happened. Well, we're going to try another spot. We ended up doing pretty well in that one spot. Got some slabs in there to make the grease pop later. So I want to do a little explaining about the catfish that I just caught. I live up on the Tallapoosa River chain in central Alabama and a flathead catfish, some people call them a yellow cat, is native to the Tallapoosa River chain all the way down the Alabama River and such as that but it is not native to the Chattahoochee River chain river which comes out of North Georgia down through Columbus and Eufaula all the way down till it meets with the Flint River and turns into the Apalachicola and then flows into Apalachicola Bay in the Gulf of Mexico so the flathead is not native to this river um, been fishing this river my whole life. My dad's been fishing this river this whole life and we have never seen a flathead caught on this river. So it's very unusual. I think say it's significantly unusual. I don't know of anybody that's caught a flathead here. But uh, anyway, flathead catfish are in the Chattahoochee River now. So I went back and did a little research on the internet and found out that uh, flathead were introduced to the Flint River in the 1950s per this article. And there's the uh, link to it if you want to go back and read it. It looks as though someone introduced them, like I said, to the Flint River. And that's downstream. That's south of uh, Lake Eufaula, further down the Chattahoochee River. And it's taken them that long to make their way up the river as this article says through the locks and dam down at Fort Gaines 
and uh well, apparently you got flatheads and like you follow now so if you want to go fish for them they love live bait people around my hometown fish for them with live brim go for it Thirty-one. It's a good morning of crappy fishing out on Lake Eufaula. You got to see a lot of different things. You got to see alligators, first ever flathead catfish that I've ever seen come out of the Chattahoochee River River chain. Thirty-one slab daddy's caught. Remember, there's nothing too deep. Deep by Spear Crew out.